Hey everybody, so one of the little video requests I've gotten is a vinyl collection tour, and I'm still trying to figure out how exactly to do that logistically. Uh, like, do I just, you know, line up the shelf and, like, pull each title off, or do I just take down a few at a time? So it's, there's kind of a lot of stuff too, so it feels like it'd probably go kind of long. So while I'm trying to figure that out, uh, I'm here today to show off the most recent pickups I have for vinyl. So I've been trying to cool it a little bit on vinyl uh, because not only is vinyl pretty pretty up there, like price-wise, uh, I just haven't encountered a whole lot. I don't usually run into like good vinyl stuff in the wild, so it's kind of like a special occasion if I see something like at a record store I actually want for the collection, uh, which is kind of surprising because Waxwork has been kicking so much butt this past year. So the Child's Play remake soundtrack, which is great, uh, and I still don't have because I, I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> uh, they did the Godzilla King of the Monsters soundtrack, they did the original Child's Play soundtrack, like there's just all this stuff, and I mean, I kind of hate ordering things online because it takes forever to for it to arrive. Like our first two items here today, So this is Waxworks reissue of Friday the 13th Part 3 3D. So I pre-ordered this on September on Friday the 13th in September, and it arrived pretty much the very last week of December. Uh, so ah, it was also not cheap. So this particular version has this has the lenticular cover. Which I don't know. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty subtle 3D effect. I don't know if you can really see it on the camera. That's why we're moving it around so much. <laughs> but uh, so I had the previous release of this, um, just not the one with like this awesome cover. So uh, whenever I finish reading this book, <laughs> I think we're going to be putting, you know, now playing, like putting our record, our vinyl up there or something to that effect, so I wanted to be able to show that off. So plus the one I already had, it's uh, maybe not in the best shape, so that's why I went in on the reissue. So let's open this up. So inside it's got a scene from the deleted alternate ending, where Jason just shows up and beheads the survivor. So in the back, so it's pretty much exactly the same as the previous Waxwork Friday the 13th Part 3 release, except uh, this isn't the well over a hundred dollar collectible it was when I last looked it up version. <laughs> and of course they have a new color variant on the discs, <laughs> discs, like on the vinyl itself. You know, I collect movies, man. Yeah. And it looks pretty sweet. So they're kind of translucent, and they have like the red and blue like 3D thing, 3D glasses theme to them. So I think that was, aside from the lenticular cover, that was why I wanted this particular one, just because I liked that effect. So the original release of this, you know, one's clear blue, one's clear red. Um, but here they decided to go with like the splatter. So I've listened to it. The audio quality is pretty great. Um, couple of pops here and there, but that might just be my player, because, well, nobody will help me set it up, and I'm pretty sure I set it up right, but I don't know. <laughs> so, I strive for honesty, okay? But one thing I don't like about it, though, is, um, so Waxworks titles are pretty expensive, for the most part. Like, they're really high quality, of course, um, but sometimes they just come with, like, this bare paper like, inner sleeve. Like, there's no, like, rice paper or plastic or... There's nothing protected in this sleeve. So, and usually I have to, like, shake dirt out of it, which I had to do for this. So, I'm trying to figure out some way to, like, double sleeve protect these or whatever, because these are... These are 40 bucks a piece, you know? And so it's just kind of surprising to me that, like, Waxwork has, like, this really nice, really thick protected outer sleeve uh, on a lot of their titles. And then on some of their titles, they have, like, these custom-made, like, inner sleeves that are, like, lined with rice paper and, like, really nice. 
But on these, it's just kind of like, eh, throw it in there. Eh. Like, what are you doing, guys? And then I... So, I listened to this... I listened to this last week, but I've been pretty busy, and I don't 100% remember. But I think the color scheme is flipped on the second... On the second one. Oh, okay. So, well, there is more red on this one. I thought the other, I thought this one was like red with blue splatter, uh, but it's still pretty, still pretty sweet looking. So, plus it keeps the, uh, the stabbed eye thing. So when you put it on your player, like the metal thing in the middle is like poking out of the eye. And it's like bleeding. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. <laughs> so, but you know, this is, I think. I think this was one of my first waxwork releases, like the original version, uh, that I got used from some guy who overcharged me. <laughs> and I, I'm kind of happy I bid on this reissue though, because it is, it is a much, much nicer looking piece for the collection. So plus I can sell the old one, which probably will just straight up pay for this one, you know, being an older release and whatnot. So this, the jacket is a little tight though. Like I have to kind of have to kind of work work them back in here. So it doesn't come with like a, like an insert or anything either. So I mean it's just you know what you see here. But it's it's a pretty good solid release, you know. And especially like at first I thought it's like you know am I might be in. You know, was it really a good idea to like, repay for this? And then I like see the cover like in person, and it's like, God, that is gorgeous. So worth it in my opinion. Of course, we have to get it back in the sleeve now. Which, uh, you know, it's good that Waxwork puts like effort into their external sleeves, so that you don't always have to worry about like getting something to protect your investment. Uh, it can just be a little bit awkward if you're trying to, you know, put this back in there in a hurry. <laughs> so, and then uh, the much more exciting Waxwork pickup. Woo! So, I think Waxwork is releasing all of the Friday the 13th soundtracks, uh, despite the lawsuit kicking everyone's ass. Uh, I think this might have been in development or like negotiated before that really happened though, and that's why they were able to do it. So because we removed it at a pretty good clip for a while, it was like three and one, two, and three came out really fast, and then four and five came out, and then just nothing for a while. And now, you know, part six, they pretty much announced it on Friday the thirteenth in September, and it, like manufacturing and everything. It, Seemed to have moved pretty quick, despite how it felt like it took forever for it to show. Uh, and they announced that this year they're doing 7 and 8, because it was part of their subscription thing, which I almost bid on, but... Anyway, so, it's the Jason Wood soundtrack. So it comes in our high-quality outer sleeve, which I sorely wish I had a way to get, like, more of this particular kind of sleeve, because I want to put all my stuff in them. Uh, but apparently that's like a proprietary thing, because I emailed them and asked. <laughs> but, uh, so the cover art is amazing. I think this is by Gary Paulin, ghoulish Gary Paulin, or whatever his name is. He's great. Like, he has, there's a book with his art in it that I probably will end up caving in and buying at some point soon. <laughs> but, so, uh, opening it up, uh, we get some more... And we get Jason on top of the camper, which I think is the director's favorite shot, if I remember the commentary correctly. So I'm pointing at the wrong image. And then just like a nice, like, profile piece of art. And on the back. So, like, I listen to this, and it's... This has a different feel than the other Friday soundtracks to me. Because I, I guess they went... They went with, like, a pretty... part. Jason Lives has already a pretty different tone, and the music really reflects it. It's sort of a long conversation as to what I'm talking about, but you've seen the movie, I'm assuming, if you're here. You know. 
So, and this also does not have like an insert, it's just like the jacket and the discs. <sighs> discs. And the records. I'll figure it out eventually, guys. <laughs> so, again, just. Ooh. Really cheap paper sleeve. At least it's like got a color to it, though. It's not just like the white one you buy off the shelf. Uh, so, I went with like the. The blood splattery variant, which is pretty similar to this, is pretty similar to the part three one that we just showed you, because uh, it's not translucent. Uh, it does look pretty sick though. Uh, and if you want to pause and read the track titles there, so the art in the back is pretty fun from the opening where they do like the James Bond gun barrel thing. So, I think that's maybe my favorite thing about Part 6, is that, like, Jason is serious, everybody else kind of isn't. <laughs> so, and I'm pretty sure it's, like, the same pattern, because sometimes they have fun with, like, the two, the, I almost said two discs again, with the two record releases, where one will have, like, inverted colors. Um, but I think they just went straight with the splatter for this one. So also, this and part three came very slightly like kind of warped, but it didn't really affect playback or anything. So when they're on the shelf, I bet they'll, they'll flatten out because it's, it's a very, very slight effect. So, and uh, normally I would do like an, I used to do more like unboxings where I'd like open it up. Um, on camera, uh, but I I wanted to listen to these while I wrote, while I was writing something, so I had to so I just kind of opened them up. <laughs> but uh, it's it's a pretty handsome release overall. Like, I love how they the art on the back is like the smiley face from the the one maybe too far kind of gag they did in Jason Lives. So overall, you know, pretty amazing. I just wish that they had. Some kind of bulkier inner sleeve, you know, because I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to figure something out where I get. Um, I think there are these inner sleeves that are, they just fit like around the record, and they fit inside these paper sleeves. I think I'm gonna have to use, I'm gonna try something like that, because I mean these were like thirty something a piece, if not like forty, because they're Friday the Thirteenth releases, like they're really high quality, like they're awesome. But never ever cheap. <laughs> so let's get this back in here. Ah, uh, you don't want to see me fumble with that. So we've only got one more left too, which is the reissue of the Halloween 2018 soundtrack with this really strange gimmick here. So you know, slide it back and forth. Watch the flames dance. Does it work on Does it work on the camera? Well, it doesn't necessarily work in real life, but it's it's kind of a cool effect when you actually see it. <laughs> Weird, but yeah. So anyway, this is the expanded version of the soundtrack. So uh, around the same time last year, I I bought the uh, the reissue that they did of this soundtrack. It was like the clear with red one, um, and so. Maybe I should have waited a bit longer on that, because this fall they released this extended one. There are, let's see, I'm, I'm going to count real quick on here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 24 <laughs> tracks on here that were not on the previous release, so... uh I have my monitor in front of the camera, so I'm trying to give you guys the best shot of that so you can maybe check out for yourself. I mean, so this came with a digital download, which I did not cash in yet. Uh, so that's kind of a plus. So this is from Sacred Bones, which I think is John Carpenter's personal company. And they're, they're pretty good, so they're good releases. So this is the interior art, which is pretty nice. Uh, we also have some nice art on the back. So this doesn't have like a separate insert either, um, so not like a piece of art or something like that. 
Uh, however, it does come with, it comes with its own, like, inner sleeves, which are printed with, like, the, the vinyl information. So I like how it has, like, the kind of deflating pumpkin from the intro to Halloween 2018. Um, but again, these aren't lined with paper or anything. These are just kind of in there like that. So, and I actually had to blow, like, a lot of, like, paper shavings out of here. So, really makes me wonder what's what's going on. So, one of the cool things about this is, so, most of the Halloween soundtracks, like, they're, like, that pumpkin orange. Um, but this one's orange and black, so the other, the other record in this set is black. And they actually look pretty nice, like, complementing each other, so... Uh, now, also, this is, I still have the wrapper on the slipcase, but the slipcase is like this clear, thin plastic thing, which I'm going to attempt to get out of the way here. Woo. <sighs> Wish I knew how to edit. Probably, probably chop a couple minutes off of these. <laughs> so anyway, this is, oh, yeah, kind of, see how, what I was talking about, how it has like the reinflation effect. Because if, you know, if you rewind like slightly, uh, like the rotted pumpkin was on sides A and B, and then on D and C, it's like, re it's like taking its shape back. And I, I really liked that. You know, as many problems as some people had with Halloween 2018, like I thought that was a really cool opening sequence where like the rotted Halloween one pumpkin just reinflates. But anyway, as you can see, uh, so the second one is black. So let's see if we can attempt to show them both off at the same time without damaging them. Oof. Uh, it catches, the orange one catches so much of the light, it looks white, but, yeah, so it's, it's not one of the fancier sets, uh, well, okay, technically it kind of is, but in terms of, like, the colors on the records themselves, uh, you know, it's, it's got, like, this kind of dignity to it, so, uh, while I was kind of, like, at first it's like, ah, oh, maybe I shouldn't have, you know, double dipped on this expanded version, uh, you know, it turned out to be okay. So I don't, uh, I don't necessarily remember a lot of the expanded tracks, but it's been a while since I had listened to this to this particular soundtrack in the first place. So at some point, I'm probably going to like do a bit more of a comparison and see how much of a difference I really thought. Because so, I mean, yeah, there are a lot more tracks on this particular release, um, but a lot of them are kind of short or just like extended versions. Uh, I think they did extend uh, the scene, I think it's like Shape Stalks Allison, like the scene after Allison meets Michael at the Iron Gate, uh, and she's just running through the hall, running through the neighborhood looking for help. So I really like that. I think that's my favorite piece of music in the whole movie, and I think that got an, let's see here, I guess it's on the screen. Right? Oh, well, it doesn't say it's different, but I think the track after that is like similar or something. I remember there being like slightly more of that track in it. But um, yeah, it was. It's a good release, you know. And if you didn't have the Halloween 2018 soundtrack already, you know, go nuts on this one. <laughs> So, well, that brings our winter vinyl roundup to a halt for now. So who knows what we'll run into in the, ne in the next few months. So stay tuned, and we'll also be trying to figure out how to get you guys that vinyl collection video, which, honestly, I'm excited about, because I don't get to crack my vinyl all that often. So I just need to figure out a way to do it where I'm not, you know, fumbling with packages all the time. <laughs> so that uh, 
Hopefully nobody gets bored. <laughs> Which, see, I'm doing it right now. Like, why can't I? Yeah. Well, anyway. Collection video incoming. Hope you had fun. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe. And we'll be back later.